So in this problem, x is sitting at three places in the equation, and we are supposed to somehow find it. Now, this is not your average problem. This is actually quite a tricky problem. It may seem like we are doing random things here, but they won't be random. Everything that we will do will be to bring the left-hand side and the right-hand side in the same structural form. Let's see how it is done. First thing we'll do is make use of the exponent rule that a to the power m plus n can be written as a to the power m times a to the power n. To break down the right-hand side, 5 to the power x plus 250 into a product, 5 to the power x times 5 to the power 250. The reason we did this is so we can divide both sides of the equation by 5 to the power x in the next step. So we can bring all the terms containing x on one side of the equation, which is left-hand side in this problem. So now we have x over 5 to the power x equals 5 to the power 250. We'll now take fifth root of both sides. And this choice of taking the fifth root, it is a very deliberate choice. What it does is that it makes the left-hand side x over 5 raised to the power x over 5. Pretty neat, right? We'll now manipulate right-hand side to bring it in the form such that it is also some number raised to the power the same number. Watch what I mean. Right-hand side is 5 to the power 250 divided by 5, which is 5 to the power 50, which is same as 5 to the power 2 times 25, which can be written as 5 squared to the power 25. That makes it 25 to the power 25. So what do we get? We get x over 5 to the power x over 5 equal to 25 to the power 25. That implies the base x over 5 on the left hand side equals the base which is 25 on the right hand side. And the exponent x over 5 on the left hand side equals the exponent 25 on the right hand side. So we have x over 5 equal to 25. Multiply both sides by 5 and what do we get? x is equal to 125. 